Hello, I promised to make this video uh, how I trace my pictures. I do it all with my iPhone or my iPad. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I do it on my iPhone. The picture that I use is a very old picture of my mom. The left upper corner is the original picture. As you can see, there is a big fold in the middle, uh, smudges, uh, ugly spots. It's very yellow and hard to trace like it's now. The second picture on the right top, that's the picture that I cleaned up with uh, Big Beauty. It's an app for my iPhone. Then I opened it in IMA Engine. That's an app where I can make an uh, ink draw uh, version of my picture. And on the right bottom picture you can see that I uploaded it in Cricut Design Space. How I do this I will show you. I open uh, my picture screen. There I'm going to look for the picture that I want to clean up. This is the picture that I want to use. I'm going to change the contrast and the colors of the picture. Uh, light, I can make it brighter. And you only have to play with it a bit so to see what's the best result that you can get. I'm going to crop it a bit like this. Okay, this picture is saved now in my uh, iPhone. Then I'm going to open Big Beautif Big Beautify. I don't have the paid version, so sometimes I get commercials. Um, this is the version that I want to work with. There we go. <laughs> White and I turn off. Smooth I turn down. Uh, very crazy, but I use the anti acne to clean up the creases. See if you you can see when you click your screen, it will work on the the picture. It's a bit of a job. And not every picture is this bad, but if you look at this here, this was a really bad old picture. And when you have some patience, you will get there. Okay, you can also change the skin tone, etc. But that's not what I need right now. When I've done this, I'm going to open the picture that I've saved in IMA Engine, import a photo. I'm going to see where my cleaned up the picture is. Um, this is the wrong one. Let's see. I have so many pictures in my phone right now. This is it. No, not it either. But that's okay. Um, let me see where it is. Nope. Now we'll use this one. Okay. There are some buttons, four in the, uh, in the bottom of the screen. When you play with them, or oh, you have to put it on ink. When you play with them, you can see how the picture will be when you're, when you're playing with it. And it depends on the picture, on the quality of the picture, how you, how you, you how you put the switches. Mm. 
Well, like, if I'm happy with this one, I can save it. I can choose JPEG, PNG, PDF or SVG. When I upload it as an SVG, it will be uh, a cutting file when I upload it to a design space. I'm going to upload it as a JPEG. And why? Because I want to erase my background myself and clean up the picture a little bit more. Okay. This was the one that I did. Okay. Uh, I want to keep it in this uh, shape. So I'm going to choose it. There's here a little magic wand. wand. Uh, when you click it, uh, the background will disappear. So you have to click all the white parts. Clean up the picture like this. But you can also erase some extras if you'd like. So. And when you save it as a SVG file, you will already have your cut file like it is. You can't modify it before you save it. The For me, this works great. takes a little bit of your time and I'm not home now so I can't edit my video so I'm going to put up this video on the website on the Facebook group I promise I will make a better video when I get home and crop it a bit so you don't have to watch everything I do <laughs> and you don't have to listen to my crappy English with my crappy Dutch accent <laughs> and if you have any questions or whatsoever just send me a message private message or a Facebook uh, or reply under this mess on under this video it's okay and if it really doesn't work for you you can also send me in private mission I can try to help you with a picture if you'd like this is what I'm going to erase now here are some spots that we need to get rid of oh I wanted to wait until my kid is in bed, but my nephew is here, so they're playing. And I was like, okay, make the video first. Okay, now I'm going to save this picture. You can save it as a JPEG, JPG, PNG. Now I'm going to save, it, save this as a PNG high resolution. Now I can open Cricut, Design Space, New Project. Oh, that was already in my downloaded folder, but I'm going to do it again. Select uh, from photo stream, or how it's in English, I don't know. And there we go. Here we have our SVG file. Or a PNG file, and it will be a Cricut Design Space file right now. I don't have to erase anything at this moment, so it's good. I will push next. Next. I will save it to my uploaded files. Save. Hoppa. 
and there we go insert and it's done for cutting and you can clean it up as much as you'd like uh, the little black spots you could clean up as much as you like of course but I like it like it is right now so I'm going to try